Shining the spotlight on what I would probably have to say is my favorite small town in Oregon. And I because? Feel, <laughs> I feel like because? I can say that because that's where my wife is from. <laughs> nice. We're talking about Estacada, actually home to about 3,000 people there, right along the Clackamas River. And this is a live look at downtown Estacada on this Friday morning. And that is a mural of a trolley there. That's beautiful. That's I, what, like, I like that. Like, that doesn't look live. No, it's a picture <laughs> of the mural. Exactly. Some nice art. You you, you probably saw that because you paid a yeah. visit to the city and you kind of got a history lesson. So, you know, downtown Estacada, I, I think 2015, they got a, a grant to kind of spiff things up a little bit. Mm. So the little downtown Broadway, I think is the name of the street, um, is just gorgeous. All the buildings have been painted. They have the beautiful artwork in several spots. Spots. Looks charming. And, uh, yeah, and the yeah. river, the Clackamas River is just a stone's throw, you know, from the downtown area. So really, really nice. So the town of Estacada established, if you didn't know, as a railroad city back in 1905. It was a camp for people working on one of the first dams on the Clackamas River. It later became a popular day trip destination when the interurban trolley was established. Now that trolley ran from Portland, Oaks Park basically, to Estacada in the 1920s and the 1930s. So the history is coming to life just outside of downtown where one man is recreating the exact replica of one of those original trolley cars. Kind of interesting. He was inspired to start the project when he realized the old rail line ran right outside of his business, Estacada Bark and Nursery. Alan gave me a tour. Holy. I mean, it's gorgeous. How many feet is it long? 52 feet. 52 feet. You're saying that's slightly smaller than your typical train car, but bigger than a... But much bigger than a city trolley. This was an interurban trolley made to go between cities. Couldn't make a corner in downtown, in the downtown areas. Wow. Well, it's magnificent work. And when, when again do you think it's going to be all wrapped up? Uh, soon. The summer? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we... we uh, had to prefab all the roof sections. We had half my shop filled with uh, roof sections, the other half filled with uh, the body itself. And then we took the, the, all the pieces out and put it together here about three months ago. So the original trolley car that this is after, or that you are making this after replica is down in Brooks, Correct. which you traveled to, to do your research? Yes, that's where we got all our measurements for this, this reproduction. Same amount of wood, materials, everything exactly? The windows are the same, the, exactly. Uh, Dennis Durkoop, who's built many of the trolleys for the spaghetti factories, uh, he has built a lot of trolleys, so he's very, very good at what he does. He's a master woodworker, and uh, he is really good at duplicating. Is he a Northwest person? He lives in Eagle Creek, just up oh, the road. Oh, he does? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's, he's somewhat <laughs> local. So, I go to Spaghetti Factory. It's one of my daughter's favorite restaurants. <laughs> but I find it fascinating that that was uh, one of your resources was to find the person that makes the trolley that they feature in the center of their dining rooms. Uh, yeah, he had a lot of experience. We've been working on this thing for two years and we're getting close. My favorite part of that story, you got to build a replica of a trolley. Who knows how to do that? Hey, they have those trolleys in the spaghetti factory. Let's find that person and see if he can help me. Isn't that crazy? I love it. Oh, it and it leads thinking. back to spaghetti. And it leads back to spaghetti. <laughs> we got to get to the weather.